Thank you, Amari and Sasha. You're the best. You're the best gardeners. Thank you. This show is dedicated to my favorite neighbors, Amari and Sasha. Thanks for harvesting the tomatoes. Hi, everybody. Hi. (laughs) It's cooking from the food bag. Cooking from the food bag. Today, though, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to celebrate the last of the summer tomatoes. And these are special because they came out of my garden, my container garden that I planted. This is the final harvest. I believe it was the second harvest that I ended up making a um, black eyed pea salad, tomato salad. So you can check that out. And then this is my final harvest. I've got a few on there, but you know, basically it's over. (laughs) Just in San Francisco, we get this Indian summer. um, And so I know this is the end. Maybe a few more that may get ripened. But anyway, so what I'm going to do with the last of the summer tomatoes (laughs) is make avocado toast. I'm calling it avocado toast, but it's really more like tomato toast. I want something to put these gorgeous tomatoes on. So um, I'm going to make two different kinds. The first one I'm going to make using Jane Bakery um, sourdough bread. Um, Some of us get this in our food bag, um, but this is one of the best sourdough breads. It's a local bakery up the street. And then um, I will toast that with olive oil, E-V-O-O, E-V-O-O, and um, and then I'll probably finish it with the Blanco white truffle oil that I love so much. You can leave that out, but I just, I just really love it. You could replace it with, if you like, um, sesame seed oil, you want to give it a little Asian flair, you could put that on at the end before you eat it, okay? So that's what we're going to do with that. On the toast, besides the E-V-O-O, I'm going to put a little ground pepper, a little kosher, uh, um, coarse sea salt, and of course, (laughs) pepper flakes. I've got to fill that up. And um, that's going to be the toast. And then what goes on top of the toast is I'll do one with avocado and tomatoes, of course. That's the common thing. Tomatoes, avocado, um... A little bit of fresh, let me see if I can show this, can you see it? Fresh basil, mmm, I recently got this at the market. I cut it and put it in water, and um, this is now, what, three days? So, it's going good. So we're going to use that, the fresh basil. Any fresh herb that you have, mint, anything, that would also be good. And then, um... I'm going to sprinkle it with a little bit of this everything. I just love all the seeds and I think it's got a little garlic in it. I really like that. That goes on the top. And then drizzle a little bit of um, this chili onion crunch oil and I've added more peppers in it. I just love this stuff and I'll just drizzle that on the top. Um, Let's see what else. And then so I'll, I'll make two with the avocado and then I'll make two with hummus. This hummus I get from the farmer's market, I don't know if you can see it, but it's extra, extra protein because it's made with white beans and rosemary. Mmm. So we'll be putting this white bean and rosemary hummus on the toast. We'll do two of those and um, and add the tomatoes and maybe we'll just finish that something simple with um, just a little bit of this. Anyway, whatever, We'll, we'll put it all together. And then for us swine lovers, you knew it was coming, you knew it was coming, is I will do one of each, so one avocado, I'll put our bacon on, and then one of the hummus, I'll put our bacon on, and I'm going to show you how I make, this is my version of millionaire bacon, which is kind of a spicy sweet, and I'm calling this billionaire bacon. So I'll show you how I do the billionaire bacon, and we'll put that on for us, um, uh, um, for us pork lovers. All right. 
okay. last of my container tomatoes. If I can do it, you can do it. The last of my container tomatoes right here on my balcony, y'all, right at Midtown. If I can do it, you can do it. A little bit of summer sunshine. All right, y'all, leave some applause. Let me go, um, let me do the bacon and then we'll do the toast. All right, to the billionaire bacon. Mise en place, mise en place, woohoo. Billionaire bacon. I start with the non-stick non skillet. Get the skillet hot, put it on high, and then lay the uncured bacon in the skillet. Uncured bacon does not render as much fat. Doesn't have the nitrates or those other harmful things that are usually added for flavor. So I'll squeeze this in. So I like to get it really hot, hot on high right away so I can get good brown on it and then I reduce it down. I particularly do not like um, crispy bacon. I like soft bacon. It reminds me more of a ham. <laughs> but anyway, I do like to have the fat rendered though. So um, we'll have this on high. It should have been a little hotter, but anyway, we'll get that to browning and then we'll turn it a couple of times and then uh, come back and I'll show you how I lower the heat to render the fat and it still stays nice and soft. If you like soft bacon, if you don't, you know, fix your own crunchy bacon. Okay, so here comes the secret part. I'm gonna share my billionaire bacon secret with you. Okay, first thing, as soon as it comes out and it's hot, I put in raw sugar, raw sugar, raw sugar, raw sugar. And I have these little packets, so I use one packet on one side Turn it over with my fingers. I love it, it's still hot. It's really important while it's still hot because it really makes the seasoning stick. Okay, and one last packet of raw sugar. And that's the, it's not brown sugar, it's, re, it's raw sugar. It's brown, but it's coarse. So make sure you get the raw sugar. Okay, and then next, Chipotle. Cayenne. You can leave all this out, y'all. This is a, my billionaire bacon, okay? It's my billionaire bacon. It's just the way it is. And it is billionaire hot. <laughs> Not that I'm a billionaire, but if I were, I'd just imagine that this would be considered billionaire hot. And a little bit of the smoked paprika, smoked paprika. On one side, come on smoked paprika, I know you're in there. At least pepper flakes, pepper flakes, pepper flakes, pepper flakes. And then, because I like it soft, and this is also, this is kind of too crunchy for me. I also then just wrap it. Can you see how I'm doing this? And then it steams a little bit more while I'm getting the toast ready or whatever I'm doing with this. So this is the billionaire bacon. All these tips and secrets. So we'll just put this aside. And now on to the toast. Ooh. And now the main foundation <laughs> for a good toast is what? Good tomatoes. No. <laughs> is some really, really good bread. Really good bread. I love this bread. 
it's kind of rustic sourdough. A rustic sourdough. I think they put a little bit of whole wheat flour. They mill, they mill their own flour. They mill their own flour, y'all. I think these will just be my little treats. All right, there are our four. Smells so good, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna preheat my oven right now to broil on high. Always fix my sourdough toast. Usually it's always sourdough. I do it with the eggs. I just do it if I wanna eat, if I do it when I'm making a sandwich. So, the first thing I start with is EVOO. EVOO. And I definitely try to get the edges because that's my favorite part. <laughs> And sometimes the edges get, get really charred. So sometimes I put foil on it so the rest can be toasty, but we're gonna just see how this turns out. God, oh, it's so fresh. All right? And then I put a little bit of um, uh, I usually do ground sea salt because I like it to be a little thinner, a little finer, I guess I should say. And then ground fresh black pepper. Alright, and that's basically it. Your oven, that's why my oven is so dirty. <laughs> but, um, or you can put it on a cookie sheet like I'm showing you right here to protect your oven. But I really like how it is when it's on the rack. <laughs> All right, we'll put this um, straight under the broiler. Get our toast toasted. Okay, you guys, I did what I told you not to do. <laughs> I walked away, got on my phone to send out a text, and they're burned. So I'm going to um, scrape them off and use them, but I'll do some new ones for our purposes. Ah, now, now, there you go. That's how it's supposed to be, just before it's burnt. All right, we're gonna let these cool off a little bit and put our avocado and tomatoes. Woo -hoo -hoo. Sourdough toast under the broiler, yummy. This is the way the toast is supposed to look, a little charred. <laughs> so um, we let that cool for a while. Look how delicious that is at the bottom. Delicious. Alright. Do the avocado first. And we'll just take one of those slices. I'm not going to put any salt. I'll leave that for the um, tomatoes, but I think it's time to put a little bit of the everything but the bagel sesame. <laughs> oh, that looks good already, y'all. What you talking about, Willis? Bacon on one. Mm. I'm going to try to make this three slices, three bites. Mmm. Okay. And I think now it is time for the tomatoes. Oh, they're so beautiful. Aren't they just beautiful, y'all? From seed. They're so sweet. With that San Francisco sun. Right in the Fillmore. I'm gonna call it Fillmore Sun. The Mo. We have the mold. Salt. And we'll 
do a final dusting with the everything but the bagel. Oh, you know what I didn't do? My flakes. So let's do the flakes. I would have liked to have done the flakes bite because it kind of gets stuck in my teeth. So I'll try to do it just on the avocado. Okay. And I do have jalapeno, but I don't know, y'all. Is that going to be too much? Let's not do the jalapeno on this one. And let's just drizzle it with a little bit of this wonderful chili, sweet and hot chili oil. Mmm, just the oil. Oh, we're doing these tomatoes proud, y'all. We're doing them proud. Let's put this up to the camera first. Isn't that just beautiful? Avocado tomato toast. <laughs> Avocado tomato toast with bacon. Bacon. <laughs> All right, y'all. I have this from the farmer's market. White bean hummus with rosemary. Really good like really good, high in protein. I have a little bit of the green from the avocado. That's all right. We will put a little bit of everything but the bagel. And then we're going to put some fresh bagel. Isn't that beautiful? Fresh basil. Okay, now what else? What else? What else? Y'all? What else? What else? Pino. Did the chili oil this time? We'll do the guaca truffle oil on the hummus ones. Why am I? Put, I think I want. Since we did the chili oil, we'll do the, the um, this one to get its bacon fix. All right. And now the tomatoes. So let's top this with everything but the bagel. I want to put just a little bit of this hot chili oil. I might be overdoing it, but at least I won't put pepper flakes on. Just a little bit, right? Just a little bit. Since the hummus has uh, rosemary, let's just let's just put a few rosemary. And there we have our hummus toast with our farm garden tomatoes, our garden tomatoes, jalapeno, and fresh basil, and a little bit of everything but the bagel, a little chili oil, and of course we have our bacon one in the back there. <laughs> I gotta show you the bacon one. And then of course the one with the bacon, billionaire bacon, y'all, check it out, check it out. Look at that in front because we know we're about to eat that one. We're about to throw down on that one. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. What you talking about, Willis? What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> wow. Avocado toast with garden tomatoes. Yay! Hummus toast with garden tomatoes and fresh basil and rosemary. What? on sourdough toasted fresh bread just from this morning. Toasted with olive oil, salt, and pepper. And it's about to go down. 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 <laughs> this is a 
look at, I don't know what it's going to look like once I bite, so I think I'm going to bite here. So one, two, three, here we go. Oh no. <laughs> This is like a, I don't know what it's gonna look like once I bite, so I think I'm gonna bite here. So one, two, three, here we go. Oh no. <laughs> You have no idea how good this is. And with that millionaire, with that billionaire bacon. I can taste the peppery, sugary. I can taste the white bean hummus and the garlic and the rosemary and the basil. Mm. Mm -hmm. So with this one, we have the truffle oil and we have that chili hot oil. And oh, I didn't even hardly taste the jalapeno. I don't know if I got a jalapeno in that other one. But anyway, here we go. This should not be as spicy. So like I said. You can, you can cut this in three bite sizes, <laughs> but for entertainment purposes, <laughs> avocado, chili, hot chili oil, everything but the bagel, uh, green onions, and of course the dark tomatoes. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Or maybe I should do this side. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'll do this side. <laughs> One, two, three. This one is mild. You can taste the truffle oil. The hot chili oil is more sweet than it is hot, which is great. Avocado is creamy. So actually, believe it or not, this one is a milder avocado toast. Mmm. I think I'll take one more bite. Mmm. 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 I'm telling you, so good. So I gotta show you more of the bacon again. We got basil. I will say this is the winner for me. Just because I like spicy and sweet, and I like the bacon. <laughs> but not because it's any less. Grow our own food. Look at these tomatoes from seed. Buy our avocado toast and tomato, hummus toast and tomato. Bye y'all! Bye! Bye! Okay, I'm getting off. Okay, bye. 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 That bite right there. Bye.